Hi and welcome to the part 2 of video on networking interview questions and answers from careerlight.com. Comment on PPP point to point protocol helps in communication between two computers over a serial cable, phone line or other fiber optics. Example, connection between an internet service provider and a host. It also helps in authentication. It operates by sending request packets and waiting for acknowledged packets that accept, reject or try to change the request. The protocol is also used to negotiate on network address or compression options between the nodes. What is IP spoofing? How can it be prevented? IP spoofing is a mechanism used by attackers to gain unauthorized access to a system. Here, the intruder sends messages to a computer with an IP address indicating that the message is coming from a trusted host. This is done by forging the header so it contains a different address and makes it appear that the packet was sent by a different machine. Following are some ways to prevent it. 1. Packet filtering To allow packets with recognized formats only to enter the network. 2. Using special routers and firewalls. 3. Encrypting the session. Explain IP datagram. IP datagram can be used to describe a portion of IP data. Each IP datagram has set of fields arranged in a particular order. The order is specific which helps to decode and read the stream easily. IP datagram has fields like version, header length, type of service, total length, checksum, flag, protocol, time to live, identification, source and destination IP address, padding, options and payload. What is MTU? MTU, the short form for Maximum Transmission Unit, is the size of the largest packet that a communication protocol can pass. This size can be fixed by some standard or decided at the time of connection. What is Fragmentation? Fragmentation is a process of breaking the IP packets into smaller pieces. It is needed when the datagram is larger than the MTU. Each fragment becomes a datagram in itself and is transmitted independently from source. When received by destination, they are reassembled. What is an application gateway? An application gateway is an application program that runs on a firewall between two networks. It is used for establishing connection between client program and destination service. The client negotiates with the gateway to communicate with the service of destination. Here. Gateway can be called as a proxy. Hence, two connections are made. One between client and proxy, other between proxy and destination service. Connections take place behind the firewall. What is circuit level gateway used for? A circuit level gateway is used to find if a session in TCP handshaking is legitimate or not. It protects the information of the private network they protect. What is gateway of last resort? A gateway of last resort is also called as default gateway. It is a route used by the router when no other route exists to transmit the IP packet. Known routes exist in the routing table. Any route not known by the routing table is forwarded to the default route. What are switches? What are layer 3 switches? The term switch commonly refers to a network bridge that processes and routes data at the data link layer of the OSI model. It is a device that connects multiple network segments. A switch analyzes the MAC address and then determines where to send the data. A file addressed to a computer reaches only that computer through the use of a switch. Switches that traditionally process data at the network layer are often referred to as layer 3 switches or multi-layer switches. What is router? Explain components of routers. The way switches connect multiple computers, a router connects multiple networks. Internal components of router include ROM, flash memory, RAM, NVRAM, network interfaces. External components of router include virtual terminals and network management stations. Comment on OSI. What are its various layers? OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnection. 
the OSI reference model gives an overview of the layered communications and computer network protocol design. The various layers of an OSI are application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, and physical layer. What do you know about unicast IP addresses? It is an IP address that uniquely identifies a host in a network. The datagram with a unicast IP address is received and processed by only a single host. What is IP multicasting? It is an IP address that identifies a particular group of hosts in a network. This group of hosts is called a multicast group. What are the various fields of packet format of address resolution protocol? The various fields of the packet format of ARPRS follows hardware type, protocol type, hardware length, protocol length, operation, sender hardware address, sender protocol address, target hardware address and target protocol address. What are the advantages of IPv6 over IPv4? Following are the advantages of IPv6 over IPv4. Larger address space, better header format, IPv6 has new options to allow for additional functionalities. In IPv6, new technologies can be easily embedded. In IPv6, flow level has been added to enable the source to request special handling of the packet. This mechanism can be used to support traffic such as real-time audio and video. The encryption and authentication options in IPv6 provide confidentiality and integrity of the packet. What is subnetting? Subnetting is a process of breaking the network into smaller units. These units are called as subnets. A subnet could be several machines in a single lane. Networks using IP can create subnetworks of logical addresses. Explain the advantages of subnetting. Advantages of subnetting include easier network management and troubleshooting, routing table size is reduced, which means faster network transfers, solves network congestion problems since the complete network is divided into smaller networks. Network addresses can be decentralized. Example, the administrator of the network can monitor the subnet. What is supernetting? Supernetting is also termed as classless interdomain routing. It is a way to aggregate multiple internet addresses of the same class. The adjacent network address can be merged using supernetting. Supernetting is the basis for most routing protocols currently used on the internet. It is most used to combine class C network addresses. What is VLSM? Variable Length Subnet Masking VLSM is a means of allocating IP addressing resources to subnets according to their individual need rather than some general network-wide rule. When does data fragmentation occur? Fragmentation occurs when storage space is used inefficiently due to which storage capacity and performance is reduced. Data fragmentation occurs when a large object is inserted into storage that has already suffered external fragmentation due to which the data object is broken up into many pieces that are not close together. What is a MAC address? MAC Media Access Control addresses are globally unique address that are written into hardware at the time of manufacture. They are also known as hardware addresses or physical addresses. They uniquely identify an adapter on a LAN. MAC addresses are 12 digit hexadecimal numbers. Differentiate between MAC versus IP addressing. MAC addressing works at the data link layer while IP addressing function at the network layer. IP addressing can be thought of as supporting the software implementation and MAC addresses as supporting the hardware implementation of the network stack. The MAC address generally remains fixed and follows the network device. But the IP address changes as the network device moves from one network to another. Which switching uses physical path for data transmission? How is it different from packet switching? Circuit switching uses physical path for data transmission. Here, initially a physical connection is established between source and destination and then the data is sent. In packet switching, data is broken into small parts 
called packets. Numbered packets may take any shortest route for transmission. In packet switching, virtual connection is made between source and destination. What are the components of frame of data link layer? Header, payload field, trailer are the main parts of a frame. Header contains the number of characters in a frame and source and destination address. Payload field contains the data to be sent. Trailer is the end of packet and it also contains the starting and ending bits. This frame is sent to network layer. Explain Ecoplex. It is a method used to detect error in data link layer and is also called echo checking. Here, receiver retransmits the data to the transmitter after reception. It requires a full duplex operation for sending and receiving data. When data is received at the transmitter, error can be detected by the human operator. Its disadvantage is that it depends on humans for error detection and correction. What is DGE? That is Data Terminal Equipment. It is a digital device that generates, transmits and receives messages. Terminal here is used to show the movement of messages in and out of the terminal. Server and the hosts maintain data and give information to terminals. Some of the examples of DTE are Teletype Writer or Keyboard and ATMs. Explain Front End Processor that is FEP. It is a type of data terminal equipment which is a digital device used to input data and provide the required output. It performs data communications at host location. Host can communicate with all data circuits present at its server. The host may be remotely located from the server. The main advantage of FEP is it avoids slow processing. What are the functions of line control unit? That is LCU. It performs communication related to remote location. Directs the flow of data from communication channel to terminals present at remote location. It performs serial to parallel data conversion at transmitter and vice versa at receiver. It also performs the error detection and correction of the packets sent. Control characters can be inserted or deleted from the packets easily. Tell us something about UART. UART is also called as Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. It performs serial to parallel conversion of data at transmitter and vice versa at receiver. Start and stop bits are sent with data without any clock pulses for synchronization. Formatting of data takes place in transmitter and receiver. It also allows voltage level conversion at both ends. It carries out detection and correction of errors and bit synchronization. Data is sent in the form of bytes. Explain USRT. USRT is also called as Universal Synchronous Receiver Transmitter. Clocking information in form of bits is also transferred with the data. No start and stop bits are transmitted with the data here. Parity bits are inserted and data is sent in form of blocks. Transmit and receive status information is sent and received. Explain SNRM. Set normal response mode is an unnumbered command of synchronous data link control. This command places secondary station into normal response mode. In normal mode, only the secondary station sends and receives information frames. Secondary station remains in normal mode until it receives a disconnect command. It is disconnected with an unnumbered acknowledgement. What does address FF hex specify in SDLC address field? Synchronous data link control address field is 8 bit and FF hex represents the last address. This address is called as the broadcast address and is common to all secondary stations. Frames sent with broadcast address is simultaneously sent to all other stations. Since it is an 8 bit address, so 256 addresses are possible. Remaining address can also be used as unique stations or as groups. Explain BSC. It is called as binary synchronous communications and is a type of synchronous data link protocol. It is sometimes also called as the bisync or bisynchronous communications. Each data transmission precedes a unique synchronization character. The message block can be poll, selection or an acknowledgement. The SYC character for ASCII is 
16 hex. What is block mode? Block mode is a data transmission mode used for transmitting and receiving data. Here data characters are not transmitted as they are typed. Initially, the data characters are stored in buffers at the time of typing. When the sender presses enter key, then only data is transmitted. This set of characters stored in buffers and then sent are called blocks. This mode is used in multi-drop data communications. Explain BOP. BOP is called as the bit-oriented protocol used in data link protocols. It is used for serial bit by bit data transfer over communication channel. These bits can be interpreted individually or in groups of bits rather than fixed length groups. Here, no dedicated data link control characters are required. An example of this could be high level data link communications.